Caballeros y caballeras. I know uh, caballeros. Ras doesn't exist, but it makes sense to me. Horse gentleman, caballero. Horse lady, caballera. Anyway. The Earthworks SV. Dirty tree. Yes. It's a microphone name. I've got my cheat sheet here. How I came to buy it. Spelled incorrectly, I notice. Oh no, how I came by it. Well, Earthworks sent it to me from America to England. Thank you very much indeed. And I've had it for some time and I've used it on everything. Live gigs and all. But what is it? It is a studio vocal microphone. I've got the Rode Classic 2 here, which I chose many years ago against other microphones. I knew it had a sound to it and I liked it. I recorded myself and then uh, went away and listened, came back, got that, tried it with a Neumann, uh, various other valve microphones and settled on this one. So this is a, the best, if you like microphone I own, studio microphone, so I've got this on here so that when we come to do the sounds I can compare it. They're roughly the same price, price. the Earthworks is a bit more. Uh, we did the, I did the unboxing um, on a different video, so we'll have a look at a couple of things I noticed about the box, very nice, you've seen it. We know this time that it's not designed to be carried around, it's a studio microphone, so it's a storage box. I would say, and it has some sort of scent, very nice. A um, couple of small things maybe. You know, the catch is good enough. If it's on a shelf and it falls off, maybe that would open, I don't know. We, we hope we wouldn't do such a thing. But it's got some little rubber pads in there, you can probably see, to cushion the mic. They, uh, some of them are not quite straight and look as if they've been hand cut. Not all that well. Tiny thing, but it'd be nice if it was nice and neat. It's just why well, I'm, I'm afraid. And this catch here, you might notice, isn't quite parallel. They both, they work. Because both, oops, sorry about that. Because both of them are a little bit askew. It's just a small thing if you can have a nice box. Might as well have everything, I'm thinking. What else does it come with? comes with this, which you can see online. Worth spending a little bit of time pointing out a few things, which I have noticed using it live. This is quite uh, special. I'm quite taken aback, actually, uh, reading some of this, that I could uh, hear it. Uh, and uh, hats off to them, because the same with the, uh, the Shaw KSM-8. The manufacturer said what the idea was, and I could hear it. It worked. I like that, because so many times you get these bold claims and you think, well, really? This is quite subtle. Um, see if I can find the bit. Uh, microphone placement. Uh, this, you can say, so you can check it out. At the core, it's been designed to pick up a wider array of sound, excuse me, <clears throat> emanating from the human body and voice. Okay. When a performer speaks or sings, there are multiple sources generating sound all at once. The contributions of the chest, neck, mouth, nose and head all sound very different from one another and their balance continually changes. One can't deny that, but I wouldn't have guessed a microphone would be able to pick that up. Though I have wondered about it in the past. Uh, as with other complex musical instruments like drums, piano and guitar, the position of the microphone greatly affects the sound that is captured. Developing an understanding of the unique SV33 capabilities will transform microphone placement into a powerful tool for shaping the desired vocal sound. Now I'm going to say first off, unless I'm fooling myself, I've noticed that. And it's uh, I've found it, after a while, and other singers as well, to be more significant, significant than one might have imagined. Uh, it says, really, uh, if you keep it 6 to 12 inches away, at the same height, you're going to get the whole body thing. You should hear what somebody in the room would hear. That's what they say. Here it is. Been waiting to have a look, haven't you? See it? We've seen it before, but so about 12 inches away. They reckon you're going to hear 
what a person in the room would hear. Let me show you the frequency response. When I first saw it, it's going to go dark now because it's bright white, but hey. Actually, I'm not going to show you that because it's going to appear on screen. So you can see pretty flat. A little bit of a dip just before 20 kilohertz. It goes back up and up to about 33, they say. Very straight. When I first saw it, I looked at that low end because I go down to about 56 hertz and I saw it's diving away under about 100, but that's 12 inches. At 5 inches, I looked and thought, oh, it's still a little down. Hmm. But of course, I looked and thought, oh, that's 5 inches. So I've still got proximity to bring it in closer, which doubtless from that trace, as you'll see on screen, would bring it probably slightly up. We'll see if we can hear that. This is quite interesting. Let me show you this. This is, I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can see what they're saying about the placement and its pickup pattern. So it's cardioid, but it's a wider cardioid, kind of like a mushroom, I'd say. But we'll hear that when we do the testing. Fit, finish, feel, and accessories. Accessories is the box and the manual, I've done that. The fit, finish, and feel. This is its mount. It mounts onto a standard microphone mount. The other couple of things which are special about this is that it is internally shock mounted. We'll do all those tests later on. And it also has um, a pop filter built in. You can see here that on the, uh, the road, I've got an additional one. Scarcely one on the road at all. It's a studio mic. They, they assume we're going to use a pop filter. So this would um, if end fire. So this would be there, if you like, with no filter on a regular mic stand. If you've got headphones, when I tap that, you'll hear thunder. But we'll save that for when I do uh, when I plug it in. Something about Earthworks products. I feel them a, a bit like instruments. My my dad back in the day was a dentist, and I am um, his instruments. I looked at, and there was nothing overly flash about them. They weren't gold bits, weren't diamonds plugged in, weren't all fancy, nothing fancy, but nonetheless, you could tell they were really high quality. So obviously a lot of the money went into the business end of those instruments, and the handles were high quality but quite plain, and nothing fancy, but felt there was no plain or anything, it felt very good. So this kind of reminds me of that really. Here is the uh, SV33 then. As you know, this comes off. Capsule in there with some uh, mesh on the top. Perforations on the side. I don't understand all this stuff really with uh, some mesh underneath there. This I thought was a shock mounting, but I'm not so sure. It doesn't seem to move. I think maybe it's just uh, stop this rattling to seat it. This is a very fine grill. Same there. Inside I can see another one or two linings and round about here there's a drum skin of a fine um, mesh feels like it's very gentle with it feels like um, the stuff that Bayer Dynamic use it's not metal it's kind of a um, nylon type mesh which is there and uh, as we'll hear, it's pretty effective. It can be cleaned, but apparently. Probably best not to get it dirty. Quite a heavy microphone. Let's uh, give you a size reference. Need to zoom out really, but I'm afraid I'm not going to. 
it's enough for you to see I'm sure so quite a bit larger obviously but it's a studio microphone noticeably heavier which I imagine is mostly the barrel I don't imagine there's much that's particularly heavy electronics or anything in there okay the washing machine's on in the background which you can probably hear even though the road is set to cardioid I don't know what that is you get the idea the neighbor's doing a dance upstairs but nonetheless we're going to carry on I'm going to show you how it fits on this I know we want to get onto how what it sounds like or perhaps what it doesn't sound like but let me just show you this it's mounted on the stand here the bracket you can see you need to put the mic on this side because if you have it like this and you put the mic on that side the weight of it causes this to unscrew it won't fall off unless you keep doing it but uh, or you could put some if for some reason or other you must have it on that side you could put some uh, thread lock on there to secure it so we put it on this side take the mic thusly secure it and there you go you can then swivel this I can bring it there it's not plugged in I'm on the road but just to show you that's how I've been using it live but uh, you want to hear it so let's do that rather bizarrely I'm gonna handhold it because it's just easier for this situation for me to get it in place and leave this one where it is so I'm on the road at the minute I'm gonna go from the road to this and see what I notice immediately 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 SV33 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 Road Classic 2 Road Classic 2 If you've got headphones you'll hear the thunder despite the shock mount on the Road Classic 2 but I'm going to leave it flat Sorry about that, it's ground shaking up through the... Um, yeah, what can you do? So I'm going to leave it flat. What I noticed, t -t -t -t, it's a bit edgy up there. It's a bit edgy up there, the road, a bit edgy. That seems to me to be accentuated along with a kind of... Which I quite like. I like it, that's why I bought it. Valve. It's got a bit of valve thing going on. On the SV33... On the SV33, I hear less of the washing machine. There's not the um, t -t 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 up the top there. The top is there, but there isn't the accentuation. They say maybe there, maybe there, further away. Further away from the uh, Road Classic. Sorry about the spinning. Further away from the Road Classic, further away, getting closer to the Road Classic, getting closer to the Road Classic, closer, closer. Further away from the SV33, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. I'm going to discuss what they say later. For now, I'll just do it the way I've done other things. So let's go through. So what, what do I notice immediately? I know it's full, but full bandwidth from what I can hear. Seems to be uh, very neutral. It doesn't seem to be that much change. There is when I get there. You can hear it's more intimate, but there's not really that much of a change. You just get kind of the intimacy. I can hear the top end is there and it's fast seems to be very neutral to me um pops peter piper peter piper didn't like that peter piper peter piper peter piper peter piper this one's got its um yeah you can hear it's edgier it's got, yeah it's got a different thing going on peter piper peter piper peter piper peter piper of course i can't get as close to the diaphragm on this because that's there peter piper peter piper Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper. Pops are very well controlled. I wouldn't use anything else. And I wouldn't use an additional screen. They say you can. They say mainly for uh, hygiene. So that's unnecessary, it seems to me. S's, S's, S's. Susie, Susie, shoeshine girl. Susie, Susie, shoeshine girl. Susie, Susie, shoeshine girl. Sitting in a shoeshine shop. Susie, Susie, shoeshine girl. Susie, Susie. With the road then you might need to be a little bit careful with the s's i'm not particularly can you hear it's a bit edgy i'm not particularly sibilant so 
that's why I bought it. It suited my voice at the time. It still does. It's, though it's a little bit... Uh, it's got its own flavour. Susie, Susie, shoeshine girl. Susie, see. Not so spiky. Very smooth, but the top's there. It's very much there. Breath. Who do you think you are? 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 Don't want to get too close. Who do you think you are? 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 Who, 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 who? Proximity. Well, this is where I wondered because of the low end when I saw the trace, I mean, very, very slightly at five inches. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Ah, ah, who do you think you are? Bring it in carefully because I don't want to blow my speakers or my ears. Who do you think you are? 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 It's got it, hasn't it? Who do you think you are? 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 This seems to be a little bit firmer in the bass than the Rode Classic. Valve mics are maybe known for being a little bit generous and loose down there maybe, so not criticising either. It's just differences. Who do you think you are? 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 So no problem with the low end there, despite the trace, because of course the trace was at five inches. Something about the bass that they say, which we're going to look at separately, because there are a few sort of um, special things about this that I read. So I'm going to do them separately. Polar response. I'm not going to do it on that one. As we know, it's a uh, cardioid, but rather wider. This is on axis. This is on axis, moving around to the side, moving around to the side. Scarcely any difference there. Moving around to the side, moving around to the side starting there to get rejection moving round to the side and now rejection but you can hear the room bouncing off the ceiling round to the back round to the back as you can hear round at well round at the back there's a huge rejection huge rejection very benign sounding coming on there and it's starting to pick up coming on there sounds to be like it's fully on even at that angle coming round to the front coming round to the front slight change coming round to the front coming round to the front coming round to the front slight change there so, uh, what they say is so, seems to me. Handling, handling and self noise. Now, this is uh, meant to be on a stand. It's a studio microphone. I quite like hand, hold, hand holding it, which actually seems to me to be pretty unique. Can you do it? Well, handling noise. What I'm doing there is giving you the equivalent of what a, perhaps a stand might do. If we go on to this this one, watch your speakers. It's well damped in this cradle, but there's thunder in the low end. Um, not so much higher up. This has got it higher up, but not the thunder. So, hand holdable. Back on the uh, SV33. So hand holdable for that, from that aspect, this aspect, Well, it's got a kind of grippy finish because it's not designed to be handheld. I don't think they never mentioned it. And when I emailed them, um, they didn't mention it either. I, I emailed the handholding thing. They didn't comment on it. So a, a smoother finish might reduce that or just don't play with it. Why would you want to handhold it? Well, just because we're used to it, aren't we? And it's very easy to do that kind of stuff there rather than you can do that. Of course, you can get closer to it there. It's a little bit, it's not, uh, you know, you get used to it in your studio a lot. But if you're a live singer, then you just go in the studio and use this. That way it seems to me. Anyway, it's not meant to be handheld. Induced noise, well, a bit difficult to tell that. I don't hear anything. Of course, there's all the background noise, but I'm, I haven't been aware of any of that. So what I'd like to do is go through what they say is special and see if uh, we can find out anything about that. The SV33's grill contains a sonically transparent pop filter. I would go with that. It's fine. I don't need to use another pop filter. That does uh, fine for me. And on other singers I've used this on as well. Now, the issue about the placement. So what they're saying is 
that this picks up more of everything. Chest radiation. I've often noticed when I sit, I've got quite a low voice, when I sit on the bench talking to people, I can hear, I can feel the bench vibrating with my voice at the back. And I've often wondered what comes off here as like a auxiliary radiator. So I like the idea of that. A couple of things I do notice. So it's, that one is a bit subtle. But I think I've, I think I've noticed it. That somehow, you know, obviously if I'm holding it here, you can still. It is different. So you have got those colours to play with. I've been playing with all sorts of things, putting it there, seeing if it's picking up any of this, uh, putting it completely there. So that gives you a different tone. Is that useful? Depends how creative you want to get. Which is why I like the hand holding bit there. Um, the other thing might be that when you say um, nasal, 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 the end bit, nasal, mm. is there a better word than that? Mother. Mm. Of course, if I block my nose and try to say mm, no air can come out, so I can't do it. Air is coming through your nose on the mm bit. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to do a comparison later with this and a handheld, uh, probably the Earthworks, SR40V. So there is sound coming out of your nose, particularly on the M bits, the nasal bits. Mother, mother. Now with this one, obviously, it's going to go in there. It's going to pick it up. With a tight cardioid pattern, the nose, when it's close, is going to be, let's get from blow things, is not going to be picked up. So I can understand that, and I think I'm aware of it. I made some notes. One of the notes was saying, it seemed to me it's like having sensors in your upper body and no microphone. So it's just like I'm uh, just like I'm speaking and there's no microphone. It's as if there are sensors there and that they're going into the desk. So it felt a bit like that. I've got underneath that that the mic disappears. I noticed this several times. I was using it live that uh, I'd think, you know, I use these switches on it. So live I have the switch and I check the switch. I saw myself doing it in a video to check that the mic was on. What's that about? Even listening back, it was obvious the mic's on because I could hear it, but something made me, even listening back, uh, I, I thought, is the mic on? But I thought it must be on because I wouldn't be able to hear it on the recording if it wasn't on. I'm wondering if that's because it is very natural and therefore you're not aware of microphone with this. With this, I'm aware of microphone because of the <laughs> which I like, and the so I'm, I'm aware that the mic's on. I've got no, there's no doubt in my mind that the mic's on there. I can hear straight away. Somehow with this one, it's not so obvious because nothing's exaggerated. It seems to me so. Yeah. Um, hmm. Uh, yes. Off-axis response, on-axis response, proximity. There's enough for me live. It's not meant to be used live, but live I could possibly do with a bit more because the equipment doesn't carry the bass so well. Here, that's plenty. It's meant for a studio, so there we go. It says, uh, yes, V33 has been engineered with the gentlest possible proximity effect to avoid this sort of compromise. What sort of compromise? Oh, finding a sweet spot. So the other thing they say is, if we can find this, is that the bass doesn't drop off. It's flat to, for quite some distance rather than getting thin. And then when you do bring it in, it very gently enhances it a little. So what they're saying then is if I'm there, 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 let's try it on the road. If I'm there, if I'm there, if I'm there. It's a bit difficult for me to tell because obviously I can feel and hear my own voice. But it seems to me there's, well, interesting listening back, it seems to me there's not so much of the there, 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 though I can feel it. There, 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 there. See what you think. It feels to me that there's more. When I bring it closer, it seems to me there's a lack of boom. So it makes it more usable because the rest of your voice, the upper parts, almost don't get overpowered by a So it reveals, it seems to me, essential texture in low notes. We'll see what happens when we go onto singing via the uh, res in inherent resolution that this mic seems to have. Uh, what do other people say? Another singer, and that which I've found, I find myself singing further away 
because uh, it doesn't get thin. Everything seems to be there. So I've got much more room to work with. Even that subtle difference there, I don't know if you can hear. Much more room to work with. Much more room to work with. You can tell it's closer, not because of the proximity, which isn't really kicking in yet, but because it is closer. I think that's what's so natural about it. To sum up so far then, as far as I can tell, these things take a while to assimilate. As far as I can tell, it does what they say. It opens up a bit more space to do stuff, apart from being flat and very, very natural and fast and neutral. I mean, as good as it gets, I think. Good as it gets, as far as I can see. But these uh, slight differences opens up more space. So the other guy that was singing, he said the same thing. He said that he could sing from here and he could do what he wanted. And if he wanted to get closer, he could, but he didn't have to. It's very gentle, it gives you a lot more room. And I think, yeah, picking up that other stuff is, it seems to me that might well be a, what it's doing. Um, very well judged. The, the possibility of using it in different places is interesting. Possibility of using it in different places is interesting. Possibility of using it in different places is interesting with all those very gentle in those changes as well, but they could be used creatively. I like being able to handhold. Uh, as it is, it's handhold was a bit heavy, but I'm a big man in it. I like the disappearing act. And I haven't fully explored it. There's something about it that... Uh, I haven't really got to the bottom of it yet. It might simply be what they're saying, that it's picking up all this. Just seeing what it's like when I'm talking. 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 Just fine. Uh, can I give me something up there? Can I give me something up there? Yeah. Can I give me something up there? 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 Round about it. Very nice and clear. Very nice and clear. I can hear every little, 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 little. Let me bring it a bit closer. Let me bring it a bit. Bring it a bit. Bring it a bit closer. Let me bring it a bit. Bring it a bit. Bring it a bit closer. Let me bring it a bit. Bring it a bit. Bring it a bit. Bring it a bit. Ah. It's 
sensualista superno. <risa>